Welcome once again to our channel. You might have heard this before or might have just stumbled upon this video today. But nonetheless, in less than two years, Microsoft will draw the final curtain on Windows 10 after a successful 10-year run. As technology continually evolves, so do the operating systems that power our devices. Windows 10, Microsoft's widely used operating system, is approaching a significant milestone. On October 14, 2025, Windows 10 will reach its end of support, marking a transition in the digital landscape. The schedule is defined by Microsoft's Modern Lifecycle Policy, which is documented on the Microsoft Lifecycle page. Windows 10 will reach end of support on October 14, 2025. The current version 22H2 will be the final version of Windows 10, and all editions will remain in support with monthly security update releases through that date. Will Windows 10 automatically stop working on cutoff date? Absolutely not true. Windows 10 will continue to work as it should be. When a Windows version reaches its end of support date, the software keeps working, but the update channel grinds to a halt. There will be no new security updates, non-security updates, or assisted support. Customers are encouraged to migrate to the latest version of the product or service. Paid programs may be available for applicable products. Migrate to the latest version? That part sounds encouraging, isn't it? Unfortunately, that's not a supported option for customers running Windows 10 on hardware that doesn't meet the stringent hardware compatibility requirements of Windows 11. So, what should you do if you're responsible for one or more Windows 10 computers that fail Microsoft's Windows 11 compatibility tests? You have four options. Option 1. Ignore the end of support deadline completely. You could do nothing at all. Just continue running your unsupported operating system and hope for the best. This option exposes you to the very real possibility that you'll fall prey to a security exploit. If you're considering this option, consider installing the free Zero Patch Agent to deal with any security issues that aren't addressed by Microsoft. That option is free for personal use. But for business or enterprise use, you'll need to pay for zero patch support at a rate that equates to a few dollars a month. Option 2. Buy a new PC. Microsoft and its partners would like you to replace that unsupported hardware with a brand new PC. You might even be tempted by one of the shiny new AI computers with their custom neural processing units or maybe a powerful gaming PC. But throwing away a perfectly good computer seems wasteful and it's not an option if you're hanging on to Windows 10 because you have mission-critical software that won't run on the new OS. Option 3. Ditch Windows completely. You could keep your old hardware and replace Windows 10 with the flavor of Linux you prefer. If you've got the technical know-how and experience to manage the transition, that option is worth considering. But for the overwhelming majority of consumers and businesses that have existing investments in Windows software, it's not a realistic alternative. Option 4. Upgrade your old hardware to Windows 11. That pesky compatibility checker might prevent you from upgrading your Windows 10 PC the easy way. But there are indeed officially supported ways to install Windows 11. You just have to jump through a few technical hoops. But should you be worried about Microsoft's warning in their support bulletin that says, Installing Windows 11 on a device that does not meet Windows 11 minimum system requirements is not recommended. If you choose to install Windows 11 on ineligible hardware, you should be comfortable assuming the risk of running into compatibility issues. Don't be fooled by the language in the bulletin. On Microsoft's part, they are just disclaiming legal responsibility without actually saying what it will do. We will be discussing more about the installation instructions that allow you to bypass the compatibility check in our next video. So, don't stress out if your computer is old and running Windows 10, chances are your hardware is fine until you decide to upgrade and use Windows 11. Until then, keep updated by subscribing to our channel, and don't forget to hit like if you like this video and the notification bell as well, to keep you posted.